Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com and this YouTube video is a review of the 65 gallon root pouch that I ordered off the Home Depot website. So the root pouch is basically just a plant pot but the root pouch is a fabric plant pot and I selected the 65 gallon size root pouch and I selected the brown color um, and I'm just going to show you the little tag on this root pouch right now. So this is the root pouch. It just now arrived. Like I said, I ordered this root pouch fabric plant bag on the Home Depot website. Um, I ordered this root pouch plant bag because I'm going to transplant my miniature Meyer lemon tree into this uh, 65 gallon root pouch plant bag. So there is the little thing that says root pouch, has a little kangaroo, has the root pouch logo, and it says you can order this exact same root pouch on their website, www.rootpouch.com. So that's www.rootpouch.com. They have several different size uh, plant bags or fabric plant pots with handles and some without handles. Um, here is the little tag. It just says root pouch boxer brown with handles. This is a 65 gallon uh, fabric plant bag or plant pot, pretty much a fabric breathable pot that you can plant trees in or flowers or whatever you want to grow, tomatoes. Um, so it's 65 gallons and 246 liters. You can order this beautiful plant pot or fabric plant bag on their website, rootpouch.com, or you can click on the link in my YouTube video's description and you can order this exact same root pouch on the Home Depot website. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can set this down so you can see it. Okay, I was able to set my phone right here. So yeah, this is the root pouch that I'm going to plant my miniature Meyer lemon tree in. This is what it looks like. It's a nice little uh, fabric plant bag. Uh, the bottom is like the little round thing. And it has these uh, nice little handles. Uh, so if you want to move your plants around, you can just pick it up by the handles and uh, carry it around nice and easy. It feels uh, like a really sturdy uh, plant bag or plant pot. And that's the bottom. That's what the inside looks like. Just a nice little round plant bag with some uh, nice little handles. You can carry your uh, plants around and put them in different locations if you like. Yeah, it's super nice. And uh, I already have, I already own a 300 gallon root pouch plant bag and currently I have my Leyland Cypress real Christmas tree planted in uh, in the 300 gallon root pouch so the 300 gallon root pouch is very large and I think the 300 gallon root pouch that I currently own does not have these convenient little handles like on this 65 gallon uh, root pouch plant bag. So this is just like the size of it. So you can see. And this is what it looks like. It's not bad looking. Just a nice natural little brown color. Yeah. So I'm just going to take you over here really quickly and show you my um, 300 gallon root pouch. So as you can see, I, I currently have two real Christmas trees. I have Mr. Green Giant Abervorte or the Thuja Green Giant real Christmas tree. And I put the Thuja Green Giant real Christmas tree in a different pot. I actually bought this tree pot at a Home Depot store in the garden section. But uh, you can see the difference in appearance between the um the pot the plant pot the plastic plant pot that i have the thuja green giant planted in and the 300 gallon 
root pouch plant bag that I have the Leyland Cypress real Christmas tree planted in. So it just depends on what look you're going for. I don't know if you can see the difference between the 300 gallon root pouch, uh, which is a plant bag. And I don't have the 300 gallon root pouch completely filled with dirt or soil right now. So that's why I kind of just folded the bag over around the bottom of the Leyland Cypress real Christmas tree. And then that's what the pot looks like on the uh, Thuja Green Giant Avervorke. Yeah. And there's just a close up look and comparison of uh, the appearance of the root pouch plant bag and the appearance of the plastic plant pot that I have the Thuja Green Giant real Christmas tree planted in. So yeah. If you uh, click on my YouTube name, Celestial Cindy, and you click on my other videos, you can check out the review video that I filmed um, when I first opened this 300 gallon um, root pouch that I planted our Leyland Cypress real Christmas tree in. So you can check out that review video. And if you click on my YouTube video's description, I posted links to all the products shown in this video, including a link to where you can buy this Thuja Green Giant Real Christmas Tree on the Home Depot website and also this beautiful uh, Leyland Cypress Real Christmas Tree. Yeah, so the Leyland Cypress, it actually looks really, really nice. I don't know if you can see. It's a beautiful Real Christmas Tree. So please like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all my exciting product review videos. I have plant review videos, real Christmas tree review videos. I have uh, baby and breastfeeding videos. So please click like and please click subscribe and have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Hi, I'm Celestial Cindy from CelestialCindy.com and this is my sweet five month old little baby, Philip. Philip, say hi. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna, we are going to show you how to transplant a miniature Meyer lemon tree from its original nursery pot. So we're going to remove the lemon tree from the original small nursery pot and we're going to transplant it into the brand new 65 gallon root pouch. Okay, so I've got my miniature Meyer lemon tree right here and I got my miniature chibi. And we're gonna set a sweet one right here in the bouncy, really quick. And we're gonna give him a little elephant toy. Yes, his toy. Hello. All right, so I've already got my dirt here and I've got my 65 gallon root pouch. And I ordered this 65 gallon root pouch on the Home Depot website. So I am just going to cut open uh, the bags of dirt really quickly. And I'm gonna pour the bags of dirt into the 65 gallon root pouch. So I'm gonna get this organic polytone. I don't know if you can see it. I might need to toast you over just a little bit. So the dirt I'm going to use to pour into the 65 gallon root pouch is this organic polytone. It is evergreen and azalea food. And I bought this same dirt for my two real Christmas trees, the Thuja Green Giant and the Leyland Cypress. And those two Christmas trees are doing great with this dirt. So I'm gonna use the same dirt uh, to transplant my miniature Meyer lemon tree. And here is my miniature lemon tree. And it is looking pretty good. So let's just uh, cut this dirt bag open. We're going to dump the dirt into the uh, 65 gallon root pouch. I find that uh, gardening is a very relaxing activity that you can do to bring yourself some great happiness. Okay, so I'm going to dump this bag of the organic holly tone dirt into the 65 gallon uh, root pouch. Oops, there we go. 
Gonna tip you up just a little bit. So I just dumped the entire bag of the um, organic polytone into the bottom of my 65 gallon root, root pouch plant bag or fabric plant pot. We're just gonna save this bag for the trash. And then I just have two more bags. Um, I got some bonsai soil. So I'm just gonna cut the bonsai soil open really quickly. We're gonna dump that bonsai soil, which is a very beautiful soil, into the 65 gallon uh, root pot. Okay, so let's just dump this guy right over here. There we go. Beautiful bonsai soil. And the bonsai soil does not rot as easily as regular dirt. It's a cleaner type of dirt or soil. There's the beautiful bonsai soil. And I posted a link to this exact same bonsai soil if you click on my YouTube video's description. So if you want to order the same soil on the Home Depot website, you can order this beautiful bonsai soil for yourself. Okay, and then we just got one more bag of the bonsai soil. And then we're just gonna pull the lemon tree out of its original uh, small, tiny nursery pot and put it into the brand new 65 gallon uh, root pouch. And cut this bonsai soil open really quickly. bonsai soil into the uh, 60, the brand new 65 gallon root pouch. This is the bonsai soil. See, it's uh, kind of like a gravel mixture and there are the ingredients. This is the back of the bag, I guess the back of the bag doesn't have anything on it. Um, yeah, so let's just dump it, dump it right in there. Okay, so so far in the 65 gallon root pouch, I have poured one bag of the holly tone and two bags of the bonsai soil. It's really for bonsai trees because I used to, I bought my boyfriend a bonsai tree for his birthday. So I, uh, I like the bonsai soil and it doesn't rot as easily as the regular dirt because um, it drains pretty well. Yeah. Okay. So I think I have um, the 65 gallon root pouch adequately filled with um, with some soils or some dirts, and I'm going to tip the cam down a little bit lower. Um, this is what the 65 gallon root pouch looks like with the uh, bonsai soil in it. The bonsai soil is on the top, and the organic holly tone is on the bottom. And this is what the root pouch looks like, if you're curious. The 65 gallon root pouch off the Home Depot website has these nice little handles, um, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I am going to transplant the miniature Meyer lemon tree that my dad bought me for my birthday into the uh, 65 gallon root pouch. I currently just have the miniature Meyer lemon tree placed in its original nursery pot, but I'm just going to uh, grab the center of the tree. Oh, and it just pulls out really neat, really easily. Uh, so here you can tell the roots have a spiraling pattern where this uh, lemon tree has been in its original plastic nursery pot. But the nice thing about the root pouch plant bag is that the roots don't develop in this spiraling pattern. Uh, the roots develop more naturally as if the tree was planted outside. Yeah, because I watched a lot of YouTube videos about the benefits uh, of planting your trees in, or plants in a root pouch instead of a plastic nursery pot. So I'm just gonna throw that guy over there. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna take the Meyer lemon tree and I'm going to form a little hole in the center of the bonsai dirt and the organic holly tone. And I'm going to just plant this tree right in the middle. And then we're gonna bury the tree, the lemon tree. Um, we're gonna surround the lemon tree in the brand new bonsai gravel soil and the organic polytone soil. Just gonna get a good mixture here going on. And make it like a little pyramid around, a pyramid of soil or dirt around our brand new beautiful lemon tree. Okay, and remember um, the miniature lemon trees or the Meyer lemon trees, uh, you're supposed to keep the lemon trees indoors. You gotta keep the lemon trees inside and the lemons that grow on this beautiful Meyer lemon tree, they're lemons that cannot be purchased or found in supermarkets. These lemons are a mix between a lemon and a mandarin orange, so they have a very unique flavor profile that you can't find in the supermarket lemons. Okay, so we're done transplanting uh, the Meyer lemon tree and we put it into the 65 gallon root pouch plant bag and it looks very beautiful and I gotta give my sweet one. But this is what the bonsai soil looks like and that is the uh, Meyer lemon tree that my dad ordered for me for my birthday. It's okay. On the Brighter Blooms website and you can order this Meyer lemon tree on the Fast Growing Trees website and I posted links to the Brighter Blooms website where you can order yourself this lemon tree and the, the Brighter Blooms and the Fast Growing Trees website if you would like to order a miniature Meyer lemon tree for yourself. It's a beautiful little indoor tree. You can um, order it on the brighterblooms.com website or the fastgrowingtrees.com website. And then you can order this 65 gallon root pouch on the Home Depot website and you can order the um, organic holly tone dirt and the bonsai tree soil on the Home Depot website. Maybe, I think, uh, maybe get two bags. You probably need, it's okay. You probably need about two bags of the organic holly tone dirt and maybe two bags of bonsai soil to top it off. So four bags of soil total, I think would be perfect for this organic Meyer lemon tree. But yeah, so that's how you transplant a tree. Uh, you just pull the tree out of the original small nursery pot and then you just set it down inside the root pouch and surround the tree with the holly tone and the bonsai soil. And you can also buy a miracle grow if you want to put some miracle grow on it or extra grow. You can also pop a tree fertilizer spike in there if you want to, but I'm not going to do that on this tree. It's okay since we're going to eat the lemons. Please click like and please click subscribe and watch all my YouTube videos. And if you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can go to my website, www.celestialcindy.com. Like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye.